All right, so what is up? It is podcast time again, ladies and gentlemen. We are we have a few things to talk about today. A lot of big things going on with the channel, and yeah, it's uh it's gonna be an interesting one. So just kind of hang in there as we get to these topics. So we'll start off by mentioning. I am starting a Patreon for this channel, and now I don't want it to seem like this is a money grab per se. I don't want people to think, "Hey, Tyler's just out here just to make money off these videos." Don't get me wrong; it would be nice to monetize things. I mostly want the Patreon for just to improve the quality of videos. Like I'm about to go snowboarding, like I mentioned in a lot of podcasts. I'd really like to make a video. But I am lacking the camera equipment for an IRL video, and just other, you know, just other fees it costs to uh, run the channel. I like to supplement. So the plan with the Patreon is occasionally I will put uh, put just exclusive content on there. But for the most part, the plan is I always edit the videos and then they come out at a later time and date. My plan is to send the videos directly to patreon after they're done being edited that's my plan for that so if you want to catch my content early go ahead and check out my patreon page that will be in the link in the description below and there's going to i mean like i said there will also be other things and on top of that i'll also give you a shout out at the end of each video i will read through my patreons for the day but yeah so that's just kind of something to uh look into if you guys would like to farther support the channel that's completely up to you i mean it, all that money i plan on just reinvesting in this channel try to make this thing a little bigger than it is and just continue to improve the quality i bring to you guys so another thing is kind of on the same tune of the uh, patreon page is i made a second channel and I did that because in order to uh, post things on Patreon, you just got to uh, have a have a, a different link to like you, you can't you can't just post it directly to Patreon, which I think is kind of stupid. I kind you gotta use a third party. So well, I chose to use YouTube and go ahead and launch a. Uh, a second channel just off that so it's just tyler films too that's it easy enough and it's just gonna have a few extra videos there and just other things and yeah so the plan is to just have those videos unlisted and then send them to the patreon for further viewing whenever the time comes and i did that because i usually sell all my videos premiere so i I'm kind of trying to do this on the side, which, you know, kind of restricts my time. So I just found the best and quickest way to do that is to make it unlisted on the second channel and then have the, well, I have the other one uploading on the other one set to appear premiere like probably the next day. So, yeah. So if you get in there now, you're going to get quite a few videos early, which I guess in hindsight, it's not really going to work out that way because I'm announcing this on a video that is getting pre-recorded significantly earlier than the release. Like, I'm filming this on Saturday. Wednesday is the day this video will be going up. But, if, you know, for situations like this, if you want to check out my videos early, they will be on my Patreon. And, yeah, but for the second channel, I'm trying to think of ideas. Like, what would you, what would you guys like to see off that second channel? Because, I mean, that's just another channel I can upload things. That can break away from my uh, main stuff. So just kind of whatever you want to see on that channel. I mean, that's that's up to you guys. I'll let you guys be the voice for that. I really don't know. I mean, it would be nice to test out content on there and just kind of see you guys' reception to it. Which, I, I mean, I don't have much of a base following as it is right now. But I don't know. Maybe one of these days it would be beneficial for me to move the podcast over to that channel. Which I enjoy. I think I like having it on my main channel just to get farther exposure to the to the channel. But maybe when things get a little bigger and my content's a little bit more uh, niche and uh, just farther farther detailed, you know, what I'm saying it's more narrowed in on a topic or a category. Then maybe I'll move the podcast over. Right now, on my main channel, I'm just trying to throw out things. 
that I feel like are going to hit. Whichever one's doing best is one we go with. So if my Friday videos, whichever those videos do best, if my emergency stuff and like, you know, first responder related content's doing best, that's what's going to end up winning the main channel slot. And if my podcast is doing best, that could also win the main channel slot. So it's really up for the air. Goodness gracious. So my dog's in my room right now. Dude, he just let the nastiest fart out. Oh my gosh, that's that's actually horrible. That that really that almost ruined my day right there. I mean, that is possibly the worst fart I've smelled. And oh, it's just lingering. And the room I'm in right now has no fan or anything. Like I don't feel like I can breathe out my mouth right, like through my mouth right now. It is honestly that bad, guys. He's like just laying under my uh, chair. And he just ripped out a nasty fart. But I'll try to rein things in. Goodness gracious. But that just caught me off guard. You wouldn't think just a little dog like that can just produce something just so foul. I mean, you expect that from like a 800 pound human being. I mean, some TLC type stuff, you know. My like 600 pound live. Goodness gracious. That... That was killer. That was just absolutely disgusting. But yeah, and uh, gosh, I, I'm sorry. I'm just having trouble reining this one in. This has gotten out of line. Just absolutely out of pocket. That was. That was a. Uh, that was horrible. But oh my gosh. So let me talk a little bit about what I plan on doing this week for video wise. Wednesday, okay, I guess I'm speaking of the future because these videos haven't posted yet, so I'm a little backwards. Usually they kind of go in a little bit more chronological order. I was about to say, I was going to talk about Monday's video, but by the time this is uploads, you guys have already seen it. Okay, so let's talk about Friday's upload. I, even though I was talking about how I do not have the proper recording equipment, I'm going to try wing something. I think I can borrow a GoPro, and for the rest of the stuff, I think I'd shoot off my iPhone. It's not going to be the best quality video, but if you guys like that, I mean, like I said, just best way to show support for content like that is to uh, join the Patreon and just, you know, any bit of money helps towards stuff like this. And that should be able to further grow my channel. But, yeah. I mean, let, and also let me know, like, for the Patreon stuff, uh, what you guys would want to see, just exclusive and stuff. I mean, would you, I mean, just... I mean, anything, you just let me know and I can uh, I can set it up for you guys. And also, it's a good way for me to, I mean, once the channel grows and stuff, to communicate with some of my more loyal audience. I mean, Patreon just makes sense to me. I mean, I feel like that money should probably go straight to the channel. Because, I mean, that's pretty much what you're paying for with that, is money that should go straight back into making better content. Along with it, it gives me, I think, I believe it gives me more ways to interact. Like, I can chat with you guys. Yeah, just, I can look at my messages on here. And, yeah, I think it's just going to just help build the community once the channel's there. And, you know, I think it's just best to start now. I mean, a lot of people start their Patreons later on. But I, uh, I think it is, I think, I think it'd be best to start off early to where I can get rolling with you getting some income in from this channel to farther you know go back in and produce more videos for you guys it's kind of that's kind of that's kind of the plan as it sits right now <coughs> excuse me um in terms of other things i switch around some of the uh some of the stuff on my channel it's uh my uh, entire uh background and stuff is a little bit uh, different now so that's uh that's cool that's i mean it's uh i like i like the aesthetic a little bit better it's a little bit darker um i guess we can maybe now nah, i'm not gonna pull it up yeah, like i said i think like i said last podcast i think you guys are tired of seeing me pull up my youtube channel on here but yeah that i mean yeah i think it looks a lot better the uh i really like the uh second channel's emblem I'll actually throw that one up on the screen right now as long as <clears throat> I remember to do that. What other thing? Sweet. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. I'm dying. I went to Chili's earlier. And I had a bunch of chips and salsa and queso, which Chili's has, I think, the best queso. They have that weird, like, I guess they live up to their name. It's more like chili than, like, just straight queso. It's so good. And their salsa. Oh, my goodness. Kind of like I mentioned last podcast, uh, 
the weight of my heart is usually Taco Bell, but Chili's is a runner up there. I don't I don't know why I have an obsession with that place, but it is definitely a runner up for one of my favorite restaurants. It's up there with like Outback. Outback's another good one. That really gets me that really gets me going. But yeah. Guys, if my dog lets out another fart like that, I might just have to cancel the podcast. I actually may not even make it to the uh, next video. I'm trying to look at some things. I like to pull some things up. Gosh, I really love the new aesthetic of the channel. It looks super freaking good. Dude, he did it again, guys. My dog, he did it again. He really just... Yeah, I mean, he just, he just took a... Like, now he's awake. I think he just woke himself up with his own fart. I, I, sorry, I keep, every time I switch over my channel on my other monitor, it starts playing the trailer, the channel trailer, which is something that I'm not too keen at, too. But, yeah, guys, I'm so excited for the direction this channel, I mean, not the direction, the absolute direction, because this channel currently has no direction, but I'm just excited about making videos. I enjoy making videos just all together. This is actually my second video I've made today, just trying to get stuff out and get stuff ready for the week I'm going to be gone. So I think Friday's video today is going to actually end up dropping on the Saturday because I get back Friday from my ski trip. So it's uh, going to be it's going to be a little bit late and I apologize for that guys but it's uh, it's just something. It's just that I want to get that video out and just kind of try a little bit of a completely different type of content for this channel which would be nice to see. And sorry, my dog's just running away. Really got to start. Now he's laying down in the closet, which is cool with me. If he does that, where he's not farting on me. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, I think he's laying down in that closet. That's exactly what I need from him. Um, but just kind of just try to diversify my content a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, if you guys haven't already checked it out, go check out that recap. It was uh, it was definitely filmed pretty like I had to cut it all up pretty quick, but it took me a little while to make. But I think it really kind of highlights some of the better moments there. Some of these videos, I try to take a little bit out of each video that I made to do the recap, and I think it was uh, I think it showed some of the best, but it also kind of showed some areas I need to improve, just with oh being more overall entertaining and stuff like that. But like, like, let's say that like the emergency four videos, they're super hard to make like a, like a recap or like a highlight because it's all just kind of even in terms of excitement. Five of stuff, you can usually draw something off there, except for that live SHP video. That was kind of, that was kind of crap. That video, I wasn't the most happy with it, but I put it like five hours into recording that video. So I had to uh, post it. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, with 2020 coming to the end last week, I would be honest with you guys, I had a pretty good 2020 for the most part, um, but overall I had a really good 2020, I mean, I had a lot of fun this year, I got, accomplished a lot of stuff I wanted to accomplish, the only thing I regret for 2020 is not posting as many videos as I should have. I should have been on it a little bit more. I think overall I posted like five or six videos in 2020. Let's see. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Actually 11 videos in 2020. Which is definitely not near enough. Like in 2019 I posted like, I don't know, 30 videos, 31 videos. And that was, I felt, I mean, that, that was not, still not enough either or, but I was pretty consistent up until early, I guess throughout the summer, gosh, I really wasn't too consistent. I'm trying to be a lot more consistent, guys. I really am. I would love to uh, just keep slinging this content to you guys. What what else is going on in this world right now that I can uh, talk about? I'm kind of at a loss. Mr. BC YouTube Rewind was super cool. That was something that was really nice to see. Compared to YouTube's usual, just cringy. <clears throat> cringy, crappy rewind that he always does. And it's 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 nice to see Mr. Beast throw, throw something together like that. I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I heard that he was doing that. But I was not too sure what to expect from him. 
But I mean, he really showed out and showed out a pretty good video. Um, Ohio State spanked Clemson. I'm just looking at the training right now, just kind of just going through things. Uh, another thing that's kind of thinking about is Jake Paul is going to get just absolutely smoked by McGregor, no doubts at all. Jake Paul, you know, he's doing pretty good against these. I mean, these people at this point, but I have no doubt Conor McGregor is going to uh, just absolutely smoke him. Let's see. Just kind of looking around. Cyberpunk. I guess they're making stuff. Making it better. Making it better. Sorry, I'm just I'm looking through the training right now. Just kind of looking for things. I didn't even know that Charlie D'Amelio had a YouTube channel. Remember whenever, uh, like, all the Vine people, like when Vine got shut down, went to uh, YouTube, and now some of our more popular creators? I bet you TikTok's going to be just like that. But, yeah, it's something. Looks like James Charles is kind of blowing up. This is the second time I've seen him in trending for today. Surprising Mr. Beast with a custom house. Something that's blowing up is people just giving Mr. Beast things. Like I watched that video with the dude with the bike that went uh, went all the way to Mr. Beast from California, which Mr. Beast lives in North Carolina. So he had a pretty good trek there. I saw this guy on TikTok that he painted a house for Mr. Beast. Um, let's see. What else do we got going on? Okay, you hear something just absolutely stupid I realized the other day. So I've been listening to a little bit of Pop Smokes music lately. Well, not just lately, just throughout the year. And I had no clue he was dead. I had zero idea. I mean, I felt like just the most out of touch human being whenever I heard they died. Like, I learned that literally like three or four days ago. That Pop Smoke died. That, that was something, uh... That was something that just caught me off guard. Um, the only person I'm subscribed to seems to be myself. History of your videos, watch a later library. Let's see what YouTube has for a home. On here. Yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm not really, I'm not, don't have this well put together as per always. I'm just kind of winging it. Just a normal stuff. Just Tyler Films out here winging crap. Not really. Not really doing it. You know what they say. You know what they say. Gosh, I wish that we could play copyright music in videos. That'd be so nice. I just stumbled upon something that makes me super happy. Somewhere over the Rainbow's music video. If I'm ever any, any, any sort of way down. I find myself watching Somewhere Over the Rainbow. It's a music video. It makes me the, just the happiest person in the world. I think... I don't really think it's still in content whenever you use things to, like, if you use, like, a video just kind of, like, as, like, an accessory to your video. Now, I get it. If you post, like, okay, if I on my channel posted official Somewhere Over the Rainbow on my YouTube channel and try to make money off of it, okay, yeah, that is wrong. But if I just put that video in my channel and then even, like, link it or something, I don't, I don't necessarily find that's still in content. Okay, I think we, I think we have a video that I may need to put up on deck on the deck. Sorry, I'm watching a video. I might pull it up here in a second. Yeah, at the zoo. Why did they even? Why did they even show up? Huh, never mind, I'm not gonna show it. Um Girl honks at shit. I'm just looking through my homepage, which I don't really watch YouTube videos on my channels. Actually this is the first. Let me go ahead and switch to my actual Tyler Films account. Getting in my mind. Um dude, okay, the dumbest thing actually happened to me today is uh I went on for like 30 minutes recording my video that's uploading, well that uploaded this past Monday. And I, I forgot to press record. 
I recorded it. I talked through an entire video, did an entire gameplay, and I didn't press record. I felt so stupid. <clears throat> so if I was sounding a little bit down in my last video, that is exactly why. It's because of that. That made me want to... Uh, I, made me, I was very disappointed in myself, to say the least. Um... I don't know, guys. I'm just kind of going, just going and looking for stuff. Just looking around, seeing if there's anything interesting going on that might strike my attention. So I'm not really seeing anything. Not much is going on right now. Hopefully, 2021 turns around for like the world. Like I said, my 2020 was okay, apart from the whole COVID stuff. But uh, hopefully just for the world's sake that it uh, flips around and does a little bit... is a little bit more chill. What the heck? I don't know. I, th I really think my podcast weird. My dog, like I mentioned in my last video. It, he, uh... He just kind of acts a little strange. SLRP benzo effect. What's SLRP? I've never heard of that place before. Oh yeah, good news. My RP server is turning into a whitelisted server, which is good. If you guys want to hop in, try to hop in now while you still can. Um, What can we do together today? I'm just kind of looking for maybe a video that catches my interest that'd be good to show on here if i can without it being uh being copyrighted which is not like it really makes a difference for things being copyrighted for me since none of my stuff's monetized huh Yeah, I'm just getting a bunch of weird recommendations. Task evaluated natural flowing, natural water sounds. Interesting. Do, who all here uh, watches uh, YouTube videos on desktops? I never found myself doing it. If I'm watching YouTube video, I'm watching on my phone. What's this? All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this as a test here. We're going to I'm gonna play just this little snippet of a song here and see if this video gets <coughs> uh, copyrighted. This was a. Uh, I'm ready for this video. This stuff was. No, this one didn't get copyrighted. I'm just curious. It's six seconds, so if YouTube decides that six seconds is too much for my channel, hmm. It seems like they're being a little extreme. But I love this song so much, and Blueface is by far one of my favorite rappers. We will look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we'll see if YouTube just takes me out for that one we'll see i don't know why people keep interrupting my f recordings with uh phone calls just constantly oh yeah i also realized last podcast i completely screwed up on editing it which is always just pleasant to see you gotta love just messing crap up which i i, ha I do a uh just out of the way good job at doing is just messing stuff up uh, I guess we can talk about music a little bit. Um, types of music. I, I'm one of those people that admit to listen to all types of music. You can play some 1970 rock music. I'll be all into it. You can play, you know, newer rap music. Like, I don't really listen to too much of, like, NWA and stuff like that. Like, or even, like, Tupac or anything. But, like, newer rap music I listen to. Probably anything from, like, 2000s up. I listen to... Um, a big category, and this might just be where from where I grow up, but like, like Red Dirt country music, like it's it's super good. I mean, it's not that cheesy. I take my girl in my truck, 
pick her up, drink some beer, my lifted truck. It's not really that kind of country. It takes a little bit more of like a rock feel. If you guys haven't listened to it, I feel like it's a pretty re- relatively regional thing, like some of the smaller artists, but like there's bigger artists like Co Wetzel that are you know, pretty pretty popular, pretty more well known, and that's a pretty good reference for kind of what red dirt type music is. But I'm a big fan of that. I just have some music, any weird music I listen to. I don't know. The music for me it just depends on the day, just the mood I'm in. Like today, I was like, I was just, actually I was just listening to all sorts of crap today. But you know, some days I'm feeling, you know, that country feeling. So I'm getting those country feels, if you know what I'm saying. And some days, you know, I'm listening to just rap music, bumping some rap music. I mean, it really just depends on the mood I'm in at that time, at that moment. During that day, um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good. Uh, on top of this, some little bit of gaming stuff, dude. I, I'll tell you a game that just makes me want to off myself, and that's Madden. And Madden makes me so mad. I always go in there and play a franchise, and that just it literally brings me my boiling point. Every time I play Madden, I just, I just get upset. I mean, it Call of Duty makes me mad, which is a game that I think is pretty common for people raging on. But I'll take it too competitively. Like, I'm kind of one of those people that just care about how many kills I get during that game. And apart from that, I just uh, don't really care at all. I, uh, but whenever it comes to like the fran- like you know, playing franchise on Madden. I get worked up uh, playing that. It's it's bad for my health. It's literally bad for my mental health is playing Madden. Like so like I took the Dallas Cowboys, which I need to take teams that aren't doing too great and bring them the Super Bowl. That's why I do in the franchise. That's what I've done for years. I go into this new Madden, there's all sorts of new mechanics for my older Madden like new mechanics, like passing's not so easy. I think I threw six interceptions in one game. But my, but we're I'm going like six and six right now. My franchise, I'm just getting smote constantly in Madden 21. It's it. I mean, it's killing me on the inside. Whenever I find free time to play Madden, it it. I mean, I swear that game takes a year, a few years off my life every time I play it. It's if I have a stroke and you see Tyler Films dies one day, like on my channel, I'll make sure somebody posts it. I will. I will. I'll probably blame on Madden. We're talking about, like I mentioned last podcast, talk about Madden or the combination of both is what's going to bring me down. I truly think. Um, another thing kind of going on is uh, actually we talk a little bit more. I'm just all over the place right now. Um, let's see, they're just kind of games. Games, dude. I play some weird games sometimes. I know, weird games is not your tradi- traditional game. guess we can look a little bit at my Steam and take a gander at what we got here. Uh, this pain in the butt. I'm trying to edit this stuff out quick because I got crap to do today. But it's for the content. For the content, I got to do more editing. Well, look at how many hours I have in some of these games. I have 189 hours in now with First Responders, which you guys probably assume I have quite a few. Uh, this game is, I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. I only got three hours there. America Truck Simulator 7. I don't really. Anime Redemption, my buddy gifted this to me. I've not played it yet, but if you guys would like to see this on the channel, you know, that'd be a perfect video for a a Friday. Arma 2 played 38 minutes of it. It was too complicated for me. Arma 3 played 17 hours. Still too complicated, but, you know, I gave that one a more valid attempt. Assassin's Creed, I think that was on sale. Beam and G, that's always a fun game to play. I played a lot when I was younger. Before I had this computer and stuff. Call of Arms is pretty cool. I think I made one video on Call of Arms. It's a, uh, it's fun to go in there and do like, go on like, they have like an editor and it's pretty cool to look at. Um, Car Mechanic Simulator played four minutes. Too much for me. City Skylines is one of my favorite games. For me, there's nothing much more relaxing than just sitting back and playing City Skylines. I have no clue why, but it really just kind of sauces my goat. And it uh, entertains me to a fair extent. 
Democracy 3, played four minutes of it. A whack. Dying Light played 83 minutes. Had a lot of fun during those 83 minutes, but never went back to it. Played Skyrim before, just downed it again, because I uh, was bored. This game's emergency really drew out the ball with this crap. I don't even know what their plan was there. Merging NYC, I plan on making a video there as soon as this update comes out. Because that update will say Game Changer. I've been following this game for a long time. And it's kind of sometimes tough. It was initially tough to play. Now it's getting a lot better. But it's one of those games I want to play with a group of people. And I don't really have a group of friends that play that. So it's uh, kind of tough. If you guys have like a group that plays Merging NYC, I'd be more than happy to come and play with y'all. I mean, I'd love to play this game more but i just fucking need more people and the ai is not the best with it this game was something i think i played this game mostly whenever i was waiting for actually for a while when i first got this i got the gaming computer just to play lspdfr and then something went wrong with it like some sort of rage crap to where i couldn't play for like a month so i played this during that month that i was uh waiting that's the fun with it. Played a fair bit of this, you know. So now it's just you may notice it's kind of a trend. I got a few uh, games like political games, which I don't know. I just don't feel like I can make entertaining content with Fallout 4 VR. That's kind of cool. I do have VR stuff. If you guys want to see VR videos, actually, I don't know where the VR stuff is. Barbie Simulator 17 something. You guys see me play this game a fair bit. Fishing Planet made one video on there. That video took up two of the four hours. Flashing lights for some reason I could never get on board board with it, but you know I would I would not be against coming back and making a video in there again. My video I did with it did not do too great, but you know, uh, you know. game dev tycoon. Uh, I think this was a janky version of the other game development thing I played. Is this, is this the one? I don't really know. No, this is not. I put a lot more hours in the other one. Game of Thrones, play that for 3.2 hours. I don't really remember much. Gary's Mod is a fun one. I, I've, the RP servers in there are kind of interesting. You can get some weird crap with Gary's Mod. I don't really need that. I use OBS, but it came with my other thing. Yeah, I bet you there's yeah 366.5 hours. I think it's the most hours I've ever put into a video game. Uh... The Isle, that was an interesting game. You get to play as a dinosaur. It would actually be kind of a fun game. It's actually one of those games that are really hard. I'd rather just watch YouTube videos on it. Just because 3 pretty fun. Just survived. Don't remember what that is, but... Uh, what? Oh, is that H1N1? H1Z1? Not H1N1. Isn't that like the swine flu? H1Z1. Yeah, this is H1Z1. Interesting. Remember that game was hyped up. Kinshi, that's a this is a cool game that's also extremely hard. I'd rather just watch YouTube videos on, but it was a this fun. Kerbal Space Program Classic. Also too, big brain for me. Another game my little brain can't handle is this. I gave it my best attempt though. Really didn't play this at all. Kinda like Call to Arms, same kind of game, just I don't know. Play 15 hours of that. That was kind of fun. What the heck is this? I don't recall anything of this game. Did I didn't even play it. No, I didn't play it. I don't know why I have this. Mountain Blade Banner Lord. Good game. Good game right there. Mm, a plus. My summer card. My brain could. I was just too dumb to play this too. NBA 2K17. Play a little bit of that. You guys know about this right here. This is a game and a half. Pavlov VR. That's pretty fun. Playing a zoo. You know, keeping little lions. PUBG. I played more on Xbox than on here, but still a fun game. This game right here. It's a... Just broken. There's no point even talking about that. Prison Architect, fun, fun, fun game. Project Hospital, kind of the same line of things. Fun game. PUBG crap. Red Dead 2. One of the best games of all time, to my opinion. Probably one of my favorite games. Played more of it on Xbox than on here. 
my PC doesn't have the juice to run that as good as I like it to. And I was going to play some RPs. I was going to get an RP server on it, but that crap was too complicated. Like they require like Tokyo VIP or whatever that's called. RimWorld's a cool one. I played that just repetitively for like a couple months back. It's a very interesting game. Um, Rise of Nations. Really didn't play that much. Rust. Mm, too complicated. Couldn't find a good server. Skull was a cool game. It was uh, also another one where I find myself. Actually, we, I might play this game. Not this upcoming Friday, but the next Friday. Because that game, uh. It's fun, dude. It's fun. I think it's kind of past its prime. But it, uh, it's a good one. I find myself starving to death in a corner a lot. Some really inter interesting interactions with people on there. Sea of Thieves. A fun game. Play with my friend a little bit. Ship Similar Extremes. I don't remember it looking that bad. Why does it look that bad? My goodness. Uh. Is that Mark? Not Mark McFly. Dog Mark. No, Dog Mark. Is it what the <laughs> dog? What's what's a, okay? I'm I'm stupid. Back to the Future scientist. Dog. Is it Dog Martin? All these Dog Martin. Martin. There's Marty McFly. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be Dog Martin if the dude's name's Marty. One second. Well, oh my gosh, I'm a little lost here. Back to the future. Marty McFly, small town California team, Marty McFly, Doc Brown, Doc Brown, I'm so stupid guys, that, that's probably grounds for you guys to subscribe right there, Civilization 5, played 34 minutes of it, I don't know, fan Civilization very much, it was fun when I was like 16 for a while and I had a group of friends that we could play together, I think I, we lost many friendships in that game, Declaring wars on each other and crap. This game was something. August hot summer cycle day. The Sims 3 put two hours in that bad boy and called it a day. Snow, have fun whenever I get back from skiing or when I'm getting hyped up for skiing. Oh, that Free Riders and Nate. Not Free Riders Nation. Goodness, Riders Nation. Riders Republic. There we go. Riders Republic game looks pretty slick. You might check out the. Uh, Check out the video on YouTube here in a moment. Because that game actually looks cool as crap. Software Inc. That game's pretty fun. That remember I was talking about that game dev tycoon game up here. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking I was getting into when I played that game. Space engineers, just like medieval engineers didn't play it. Squad's a fun one, it's a little bit more simple than Arma, but it's a lot more complicated than like Battlefield and Call of Duty. That's a good one. You guys saw this on my channel, that's pretty fun, even though I played only 90 minutes of it. Stormworks too complicated for me. Hunter Call of the Wild, down it. Let's play on making a video. You guys caught me. Hunter Classic, you saw I enjoy that game. Got 92 hours in it. Just a good time. Total War Tilla, pretty good one. I like these Total War games a lot. They're a, they're a good amount. This was the first game that I lost my like, strategy game wise that I just kind of went all in on. Where's I at? Epic Bell Simulator. Made a video there with Teller Talks. It's something really about you say. So here with this stuff, I have Vegas Pro, I'm too lazy, so I use uh, Mojave. Vegas Pro is too big brain for me. Victoria 2, another great one. I have it downloaded, but don't play it on here. I used to play on my laptop. And virtual desktop. Oh, we're sitting in there in my VR and watching Milk Drop music videos, which is possibly one of the most entertaining things in the world. I recommend trying it at least once in your life. What else could I possibly talk about today? Um, we can look at that Riders Republic thing. I don't know if that's something that can get copyrighted. Riders Republic. I don't know. It probably will get copyrighted. You know how much I care if it gets copyrighted? Zero. All right. Preview trailer for 2020. I don't know, I see reaction videos. I don't think it's against the... I don't think they're going to throw me in prison for showing this on my channel. It's If anything, it's free advertisement, so Ubisoft... 
This game looks super freaking cool. Am I right? Here's a few truths about how we lay it down. We the riders welcome all thrill seekers to the Republic. Let me speed this trailer up a little bit. Opponents of madness, get ready. Need to make it just a little more hype. We the riders salute the rationality of irrationality. Gosh, that would be so scary right there. We the riders say that friends who stay together. There's what I want. The mountain biking. That'd be so cool having a legit mountain biking game. Mountain biking is so much fun. If you guys haven't tried it, I sincerely recommend it. We'll turn that down just a smidge. Snowboarding and skiing. Fun things. Things I like in real life. This video games are super up my alley. Ready for it. I mean, I'm a horrible snowboarder. Like, actually horrible. If I actually end up making that video Friday, you guys are about to see. Or not Friday, so I think it's gonna probably come out Saturday. But you guys will see how bad I am. Hopefully, this summer and spring, I'll make mountain biking, biking, mountain biking videos. I usually pick up mountain biking a lot more than February. It feels kind of long, but I think you guys get the point. This part's super cool. Oh, snap. That first person view is actually super sweet. That's the first time I saw that. Look at that. That's super cool. You know what I hate about mountain biking? Is that you'll be out there on the trails and uh, you'll get shown up by a bunch of old people. For some reason, mountain biking is a sport really popular with the older generation. I feel like I'm the only young person I know that does it. It's one of my favorite, that's one of my favorite things to do, just get out there and go mountain biking. Gosh, it looks so good on PS5. Which I do have now. I don't, I haven't. I have an Elgato, but I'm not too keen on it. For some reason, I can't get an Elgato working for the life of me, so we'll see. But hey, like I said, if you subscribe to Patreon, I can have it both on PS5 and on PC. So, you know, that would that would help. That would just help if you guys want to <laughs> get down the Patreon link below so I can make better content for you guys. Alright, enough of this. Enough is enough. Uh, super cool, super cool. Uh, what is I? I really need it. Dude, I'm about to just do it while I'm here. That's gonna make my life just so much easier. One second, we're about to... Podcast. I like how I'm just bringing you guys along while I'm just doing crap I should have been doing for a fair amount of time. So make my editing life just a lot easier. <sighs> no, create new image five. I like how I'm just screwing with OBS while I got you guys in here on my podcast. I'm such a such a crappy podcast year. Except for that's not really gonna work this mean I wanted to make that. Alright, well we guys are gonna come along for a little bit more than uh, just uh just the normal normal. Uh, <laughs> this is just scuffed what I'm doing here. We'll bring you all in. We'll bring you guys in on progress. We'll make this content. All right. So we're going to look at this. All right. So now we're in. Now this is how Tyler makes his podcast thumbnails and all of his thumbnails. So I hope you guys enjoy what you guys are getting into. Podcast episode. Oh my God. I don't know what podcast episode this is. Uh, I think it's like four, five, five, six, six. Is it six? Seven, eight. It's podcast number eight. My bad. So I go over here. I make this. So yeah, you guys are getting a tutorial in the middle of this. Yeah, you're welcome, I guess. Episode eight. Okay, and then I, I think I bold it. Yeah, it's bold. All right, cool. And I go like that. Level it out, level it out, okay. Because usually I have to go in on editing 
and uh, do it through there, which this is about to save me a bunch of time because I'm super smart. Yeah, so that's how you make a podcast thumbnail for Tyler Films. So we're going to go back into recording while I save this so you guys don't get no sneak peeks of what's next. This PC, new volume D. Program files, wrong folder, wrong folder. Images, uh, Zoom Nalls. Episode TTP, Tyler Talks Podcast, Episode 8. Save. All right, here in, in a moment. So you guys are now looking at what I look at during my OBS. Here in a moment, things are about to change. Things are about to change forever. Uh, Tyler Films, Images, Thumbnails. Okay, there it is. There it is. All right, so we're going to wrap this one up by just looking at a couple stupid videos that I like to, that just make me very happy. But that's really going to be a game changer right there, throwing that in there on the uh, OBS side of things. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. Hunter Trap B. Uh, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, something that makes me super happy in this world is what I'm about to show you guys. Goodness gracious, what's this video called? Oh, okay, never mind. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> keep looking for it because I am a crappy podcast here. Animal Calling drops a B. You guys are about to be lying. Don't you guys like how educated you're getting in this? Alright. You guys ready for this next video? That's something that just makes me super happy. He's on the ground now. I don't know what that next video was, but it <laughs> that last one made me very, very happy. That, that's something that, this is just something that's uh, great. This It deserves two likes from me. This, uh, this uh, channel here. I don't know, this video just brings light to my dark, dark heart. It really just gets me going. You know what doesn't make me happy is advertisements. Cancel. Let's look at it, which is why I'm here. Let's just look at it. Mm -hmm. I like the way this looks. Yes, let's just sit back and watch some Tyler Films videos. This is Tyler Films reacting to Tyler Films here. Here's this cha channel trailer, mm -hmm. looking at it. Look at that crappy old logo on the side. Look at this crap. Really good job, really good effort there, Tyler. I think my channel has improved. I like to think at least. We just got lit, lit up. Lit up. Look at that, that's the first video. That's like the third or fourth video I ever made. And that was actually a cool moment. Oh my. That was a cool, that was a pro gamer moment right there. That CPR scene right there, I felt was looked pretty legit. Nice, nice and good. Nice and good. Been on them. I don't think that's really how you put on four leads. <laughs> Montana mod, Bessie and four mod right there. Mm. 
You guys about to see some crazy editing. Oh, my most popular video. <clears throat> well, it should be my most popular video. And just another decent video right there. Okay, here's some sick Tyler Films editing right here. Ooh, good job, Tyler. Ooh, good job. Let's go. Good job, Tyler. Really A plus effort right there. Ooh, here comes my end screen, probably without a freaking thing. Wow. Good job, Tyler. Let's look at the recap, too. We're just out here just farting around on YouTube. What is going on, guys? Yeah, I'm actually really not too happy with the recap. I feel like that was a good video, though. Let's see some of these other ones. Like this right here. This, I just pulled from nothing. I didn't think anything in that video was entertaining. You can't really hear a crowd there. I think it might just be windy outside. I should probably check the weather. Like that was a decent video, it was recent. I love yeah. this video so much. Okay. I'll show you guys love this video as much as I do. We go. And if you're wondering how you know, I went from 17 to 18, I subscribed to myself with channel 2. I need to add that in there. Always remember to go check out Nam and Chuck. Just such a good guy. Chunk, not Chuck. Um, what else can we look at? Oh, we hit 200 something views on this video, which. All right, what's going on, Day Star? Just gonna throw here. up. And today we're playing some GTA 5 RP. One <laughs> RP server. So basically, the premise of today's. Uh... Why is this the video that's doing so well? My channel of my other videos. I remember that happening. Some dude just rode by the mountain bike. <laughs> just bust down the hill while I'm just messed up. I'm definitely happy to see that. This bust the sheriff car right here. Alright, now that we've looked at some of my older videos, let's look at let's look at a newer one. We'll go into uh YouTube Studio. Tyler Films. Let's see. I don't think there's anything just absolutely wrecking on here. Content. You guys about to get a sneak peek of some No you're not. You're actually getting a past peek. A glimpse of Christmas past. So I'm really enjoying I'm pretty pretty happy with what I've done to the uh to the uh, videos in terms of uh, in terms of the new aesthetic. Let's just watch a little bit of this intro. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Tyler Phils back again, back in EM4 for the first. So that's a part one of the new crap. Time victims. Yeah, you know, I really screwed the pooch on that video here. With uh, it just getting completely out of hand. If you guys haven't watched it yet, go be sure and watch this video. It's actually a pretty decent one. Surprisingly for me. I want to see the new intro. This just chaotic mess of an episode. So I hope you guys have a great Monday. I will catch you guys on the next video. I don't know. Just a darker human being now. Just getting all sorts of sketchy. Also, make sure you guys never go and buy anything off there. I don't know if anything's still up, but those videos, those t-shirts are probably crap. I don't, I'm just letting you, just giving a fair warning to my uh, loyal viewers. <coughs> at what time will we be at this recording? I know it's not actually going to be the t uh, time. So it's be a holy crap, we get an hour. Oh, let's just keep on trucking. Might as well, don't got anything better to do. Actually, I do need to go hit leg day today. Oh my gosh, leg day. Why not? Gosh, you guys about to hear some internal struggle here.
I'm about to go snowboarding. Do I really need to work out today or should I just rest? I'm about to leave it. I'm just kidding. I can't leave it up because this video is coming out in the future. Um, gosh, I do not want to go work out today. I'm taking a nap. I've been up since 3 a.m. today and it's now 3 p.m. pretty much. So I've been up for 12 hours. I think it might be beneficial for me to take a nap versus working out. And I also got some training crap to do on my RP server. So yeah, I'm kind of a SOL. I don't feel like a piece of crap. I ate so bad at lunch. And then, oh goodness gracious. So I really don't know. I, should I work out? Should I not work out? Who knows? If you guys uh, think I should have worked out, because I think I've chosen not to at this point. If you guys think I should have worked out, just comment, hey, Old Tyler, he's a fatty and useless in my uh, comments. So I just make sure to spam my comments for the rest of time with that. That will uh, motivate me to go to the gym. So just every comment I see better be, man, Tyler's a fat man. Tyler's lazy. That's what I like to see. Instead of Tyler Films, Tyler's lazy. So that's what I should name this channel. So I think I made my internalized decision just not to... Uh, and not to do it. <laughs> you always know, piece of crap. Maybe I won't even edit this. You guys are about to just get nasty uncut footage. Even though this is pretty much just a nasty uncut video. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Well, you know. Also, if you guys wanted to catch this early, you can always go to Patreon. Gosh, just, let's just sell out completely. This is just, I got 18 subscribers, so yeah, let's go ahead and sell out. No, I'm just kidding. The Patreon seriously is just so I can make more videos, just in more enjoyable ways. As in just IRL stuff, because I like to make some mountain biking videos this year. Make a few of the mountain, mi biking, mountain biking videos. That'd be, uh, that'd be nice to see. Um, what, what else can I talk about? I've just been sitting here for an hour just rambling and watching stupid YouTube videos. I don't know. I don't know. I'd really like to have a guest on this podcast, guys. If anybody at all, I don't care who you are, what you do in this world, I'm willing to take anybody as a guest. I think that would be something to, uh, to behold. To behold. I had a phone call during the middle of this podcast. I should be like, hey man, you're on a podcast, but you know, they don't really know them. Well, the guy I talked to on the phone, he knows I make vid made videos, but he doesn't know I'm back doing it again. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe one of these days, he, I don't even know if he subscribed to me. It's my uh, ex roommate. I don't know. He knows I made videos. He knew about Tyler Films. It's, it's, you know, the funny thing is, I didn't tell him what the channel's called. I really didn't. And one day he found it. I told him I have a YouTube channel, and I, I try to keep it private that I have a YouTube channel. But uh, he uh, he was able to hunt it down, just a little bit of information. I think he found it through Tyler and the Emergency 4. I think that's how he tracked it down. But I was impressed with how he was able to find it. He, uh, he hunted it down relatively quick. I mean, I kind of forgot about it, and like three days later, he texted me a picture of my channel. I'm like, holy crap. But it's, honestly, in my personal life, he's the only person that knows about the my YouTube stuff, which is interesting. Uh, I don't really, I don't know. I just don't feel like people get it, the whole YouTube thing, like especially like older, like my family and stuff. And I know for sure my coworkers wouldn't really get this whole YouTube thing. Very good. I know. Uh, I mean, my parents will probably support me throughout whatever, but. I'd rather the people find out about this stuff once it gets big and I got a little bit to back it. You know, like if I show them with 15, 18 subscribers, I do, why you're wasting your time. If I show them with 18,000 subscribers, then they're like, okay, well, it's a little more serious now. That's just how I see it. I don't know. It's worth looking into, but uh, I mean, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll just kind of see how this goes. You never know, I could just disappear from the face of the earth again like I did for eight months. But I plan on keeping the podcast going. Like I said in a couple podcasts ago, I just want to. I want to keep the podcast going just kind of give me that in the back of my head motivation to keep doing it. 
So, expect weekly podcasts no matter what. With the rest of the crap, I don't know. I don't know. I really want to find... I don't know if this type of content I want to make for the remainder of my time doing YouTube. If it works, it works. If not, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather do something more uh, more personality-driven, like I mentioned 150 times. I really mention a lot of the same crap in these podcasts. If you watch one, you really get to know a lot. I'm excited for the day that one of these days somebody uh, makes makes like a clips video of the podcast. That'd be super cool to me. And it'd be nice if I didn't have to do it. You know, that's something I might look into doing is doing clips on other films too. Which I just don't know if there's any really necessary moments that I uh, could get clips from. I don't know, that's actually something to look into. Maybe next week or something like that. I might start just uploading like clips of each podcast and just kind of what I think is interesting out of all of it. Which that I should that's not really a bad idea at all. Throwing that on that second channel, just some bonus content. Cause that's really just bonus content. And then I could maybe even do live streams and stuff on there. I'm really pulling together. It's really big brain time. Like any sort of low effort type video, I feel like putting in. I think I'm just gonna throw it on there. Gosh, that's a great idea. Good job, Tyler. I'm really full of great ideas sometimes. I I don't know. I I sometimes pull it out, guys. I sometimes, you know, I'm sometimes there with ideas. Not all the time. Not very often, but I'm there. But I think I head out. You know, I got a good bit of up, um, not updating, uh, editing to do, and I still want to take that nap. So I will catch you guys later.